Okay, I'm playing Monster Hunter World. It just came out a couple days ago. And we already have it from Gamefly. <laughs> Check that out. Um, initially, my initial thoughts. Um, I don't really like it. There's a lot of complaints I have about this game. Uh, okay, first off, this is all coming from the fact that I've... Hang on. That, uh... Not plan this. Wait, no, wrong one. Uh, is that the music? Okay, that music was way too loud. Anyway, so this complaint is stemming from the fact that uh, the only game in this series I've played is uh, Monster Hunter Three or Try or whatever. It was the one for the 3DS. And I, when I I owned a 3DS a couple years ago, and I played the demo. I didn't play the actual game. I didn't. I never even heard of Monster Hunter up until that point. I thought it was like a Nintendo original or something, uh, or like an indie game or something. And uh, cause like I was playing, I'm like, wow, for an indie game, this is pretty good. And then I looked it up and realized it was actually kind of a big franchise. Wow, oh, mm -hmm. that makes sense. And. Uh, yeah, so this is Monster Hunter World, which, I mean, I, it's, I could tell it's, it's a, like, you know, a lot of thought and stuff, but apparently not enough, because a lot of stuff I don't like about this game, like, the one off on 3DS, open world, I can go anywhere. Well, I mean, I, I, I didn't explore, like, everything, but, like, there was, you know, opening cutscenes and stuff, and then you're free to do whatever you want, basically. This one... It was cutscene, 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 cutscene. Oh, and you had, it's one of those where they say a line, you press X. They say a line, you press X. You can't just set the controller down like most games. Like, okay, I'm going to watch this cutscene. No, uh, <laughs> I have to pay attention. <laughs> and uh, so, like, I get to where I can play, and then there's someone following me around saying, okay, now go here. Now go there. All right, now we're going to go over here now. Like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go over here. Why can't I go over here? And the girl that was bossing me around was, was over here. It's up. She's up there. Okay, I can't leave yet. That's not where she is. She is over here. She's somewhere. Oh, wait, I think she was following me. Oh, that's her right there. My handler, apparently. She just told me that she's my handler. And she's eating. Nom nom nom. Oh, and it's healthy food. That's a big apple. But anyway, um, that's that's the small stuff, you know. Oh, long cutscenes. Yeah, you're probably wondering what's on the top left corner. Well, even though this is offline, it's acting like it's online. Because I can't pause this game. You see right there, kind of in the upper middle right area. It says I'm offline. I'm not online. Um, but it's not actually paused. And, okay, there's... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. And if I press the touch button, it'll start the mission. I mean, normally, if that wasn't there, then... Wait, it opens the departure window? No, I don't want to do that. And if that wasn't there, it would open up the map, which normally that would pause it. It's like, oh, okay. It's like, um... Oh, there's a specific game I had in mind. Um, but that doesn't pause it. How do I know? Because I can still hear everything around me and people talking and, and everything. Like, you know, like, whatever, whatever he just said. So, there is no pausing with this game. The only way I, I've learned to pause this, and I don't even know if it actually pauses, is pressing the PlayStation button and going back to the dashboard. Or, uh, do they call that on the PlayStation? Uh, the home screen, whatever it's called, with the menu and everything. <laughs> I don't even know if that actually pauses it, because you can't hear anything. No, I, what I should do is like look at somebody that's walking, press the button, wait like 10 seconds and then go back and see if they're still there if they've moved on um so basically if i get a phone call or something wait 
Okay, that made me nervous just saying that. Like, I got a phone call. <laughs> I'm s what? Yeah, are you t are you so exhausted eating food? Uh, you're still eating that apple, and you haven't actually made any progress. Looks like, like the dogs from Skyrim. Have you been to Tamriel? Um, this is a massive area. I mean, uh, right, that's where I was before. I came up. That's why I was trying to go up that area. It wouldn't let me. Because I, I just remembered I went up to see her. And uh, it wouldn't let me go up. Which, uh, I don't know if you can't go to that ship area. It's like a research facility, I think. And... Let's see here. I can't. Oh, wait, no, she's. I walked through her, and she's surprised too. Yeah. Nothing, never mind. It's nothing. I thought I heard something. Wait, what's over here? No. Oh, it's my room. Oh, yeah, you have a room. I can't enter my room. Okay. I can't show you my room. I also can't show you the weapons. There's some really cool weapons, actually. I, I, I'm complaining about this game, but I, I'm I'm sure it's one of those where later on it lets you free and to do whatever. Like the Deus Ex, I think that's how you pronounce it. Where, like, the first hour I played it, it was go here, do that. It's linear. And then suddenly you get to the city and you're free to move about the cabin. This might be... Oh. Wait, there's another room? Why why can't I enter my room? Bzz. But, uh, yeah, this might do that later. Oh, look, the smith. The smithy? Sm oh, it's an armory. Ah, where's the smith guy? This is second fleet master. There's, what's up here? I hear it. It's here somewhere. I just can't see it, or. Yeah. That is dangerous. They need to have guardrails or something. Oh, it's in here. Oh, yeah, there is. This is not. This is not up to the health code standards. Wow, considering all the places it doesn't let me go, there's a lot of places it does. What can I go to that research facility ship thingy? Um, oh, okay, that is a nice view. Is, is that a is that a bird? It's a monster! Nah. Okay. Uh, it's like an. I can say it's like an owl crossed with a hawk or something. I don't know, but the parrot. But it's not. I don't. When it was straight on, it kind of looks like an owl, but from over here, it kind of looked like a hawk. With a parrot. It's probably something completely original that I've never heard of. Because, like I said, I've only played the demo of the one game. <coughs> don't fall down there. I don't expect them to put guardrails guardrails here, but every okay they put guardrails here, but like not other places. They're they're very picky and choosy with their okay they're less choosy and less picky. Okay then. Speak. Okay, I'm gonna go to the armory. My my my. Oh, see there you go. Oh, I'm I'm like listening to her because she's talking, and then I'm like go on. Oh wait, she's saying something completely different than what she just said. There you go, newcomer. You'll look a lot more hunterly with a weapon on your... Oh yeah, I, it starts you out in like default armor and no weapon. And when I was in the room, I, I switched to this uh, shredder uh, armor and this massive katana. This is the armory. We deal in ready-made weapons and armor. If you need a weapon ASAP and don't have time to gather the materials, 
Wear your ticket. So, newcomer. Care to have a look? Purchase weapons. Okay, there is this one weapon that was really cool during the, uh, the training. Lance! Um, oh, you need that for something. I couldn't, there's like two weapons that I wanted to try, but I couldn't because I didn't have this. How much is it? This is 300 Zs. I think it stands for Zinni. Uh, that's a weird, um, wait. What is, what is this? Uh, okay. Oh, they don't have the one that I was wanting. Do I already have it? Because it let me, wait, let me, that's the default armor. That's what, yeah, see, it's red. It doesn't, and oh, and this is equipped. I can't buy any armor because I either own it or I'm wearing it. Uh, so let's see. It was available in the, well, here it is. Yeah, I have it. I didn't think I had it because I thought the training was, it gave you the option to use anything. This is a metal bagpipe. And it was a special support weapon hunters use to gain or provide various buffs. Okay, seeing it there, it's not the same as using it because it has audio with it, and it was actually kind of amusing. It sounds like a bagpipe, like um, it sounds like a metal bagpipe for some reason. I don't have anything to sell. I don't want to sell that. Uh, wait, how much is it worth? 50. Nah, I'm not going to sell that. All right, see you later. I'm going to go now. now. Where do I go? Hmm. There's, oh, yeah. Oh, mini map. Oh, yeah, because it was fixed and I made it rotate because it was so confusing. Oh, yeah, see, this is kind of cool. I'm easily this one is the one I thought was cool because it's like both way. Oh, it's her again Hank the cow dog That I'm easily amused that was it's kind of neat. What oh I didn't notice oh it says lift it can I can do stuff and go down Wait, what is that? What is that? What is it's that oh, that's that's nothing. I thought it was. Uh, What's well, down? That's that's the other place. And I can't go that way. And I don't want to go that way. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to... Wait. I just saw my phone light up. So, I'm guessing somebody messaged me. Well, yeah. Okay. So, uh... Good thing I would don't I'm don't want to record anymore because I have a friend coming to pick me up to go somewhere. So, yeah, let's pick this up at a later date.